This forecast is powered by Burgess Awning, South Jersey's family owned and operated awning shop. Well, at this rate, I hope you guys took advantage of all the sunshine seen over the weekend. You go outside today and I'm looking out the window right now. I see cloudy skies. I see showers that are passing through and we're really not going to dry out again until probably this time tomorrow afternoon. So for the next 18 to 22 hours or so, we are going to be dealing with this wet weather. So make sure you have your gear ready with your umbrellas and your galoshes, because if the kids out there are like me, you jump in those puddles. I have a lot of fun with that. Not many puddles out there right now, but after we pick up a half of an inch to an inch of rain through the overnight period, they can certainly be out there tomorrow morning. Anyway, 43 in Philadelphia, 49 in Atlantic City, 46 for Washington and 51 down in Salisbury. And we will bring these numbers up overnight into early tomorrow morning. We'll actually probably get into the 50s, I think, before we back down into the 40s tomorrow afternoon again. 44 in Hamilton in Woodland Township, 43 for Cherry Hill, 47 in uh, Seattle City and the Cape May area. Winds are out of the southwest and they are starting to pick up a little bit. I mean, gusting to around 25 or 30 miles an hour. That'll be an issue right through the evening. And here's your steady rain. You have pockets of yellow and that's indicating we have some heavier bands out there. So pull off to the side of the road if your visibility is reduced. This is all flowing right ahead of a cold front that fronts out to our west over western Pennsylvania, and it's going to slowly push down to the southeast. It's not in a hurry to go anywhere. This stuff is going to train right along out ahead of it, and it's going to be here as we wake up tomorrow morning, as we go into the lunch hour, and then gradually will dry out. Areas of fog will develop tonight, so on top of all the rainy mess, you're going to have to take your time traveling into tomorrow morning. Visibilities could get down to under a mile or so. A terrible Tuesday is on tap, unfortunately, but we are looking better on Wednesday. Clouds and some sun, we will be totally dry. I'm not worried about any uh, precipitation, so that's good news. Here we go with all that green on the map. That'll continue through tonight. Another round overnight into early tomorrow morning, and I can't even rule out some heavy rain for your morning commute. By around 1 or 2 o'clock tomorrow, we should start to see that shift. The wind direction shift out of the southeast, the shower shift offshore, and we will improve our conditions. So that's what we're looking at. There's really nothing exciting and happy out there, unfortunately. I look I wish I had better news for you. 45 cloudy skies tonight. Steady rain will be out there for sure. And then for tomorrow, 55. I think that's an early day high temperature with the numbers coming down in the afternoon, drying mid to late afternoon. Winds will start to shift out the north northwest a little bit later on in the day. I'd say uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter. That's going to vary by location, just like the last storm. It's kind of like a deja vu. I'm not expecting any severe weather, so that's good. But the bulk of it's going to be down towards the coast, a little over an inch for Atlantic City, hovering around two inches for Sea Isle City. I'm not sure it gets that much, but I think everybody uh, east of Hamilton and certainly in the cards for an inch of rain. 47 clouds with some sun on your Wednesday. It's the pick day of the week because it's going to be dry. You'll have the temperatures that are comfortable, and you'll see a little sunshine out there. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at Nor'easter Nick. You can also, if you download my Norcast weather app, you can go to my website, nor'easternick.com, and you can enter to win a lawnmower courtesy of the Smith Family Ace hardware stores in Atlantic County and Cumberland County as well. So go over there, fill out the form. And if you tell me and you correct guessly or correctly guess when the first 80 degree day is going to be, you could win that snowblower, not snowblower, lawnmower. See, I, I can't get snow out of my head. Unfortunately, no snow in my forecast right through Thursday. We cool down on Friday at 33, 36 on Saturday. So a wintry couple of days ahead, some snow squalls are possible by Sunday.